everybody. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I hope you'll grab yourself something to drink, glass of wine, iced tea, cup of coffee, depending upon the time of day, because I'm going to be diving into my empties with you. And these are the products that I have used and used up. And I'll be giving you a mini review on each product to let you know if I would repurchase again. And I absolutely love these videos when I watch them from other YouTubers because this is the only video where you actually get to see what that YouTuber is using up because it's easy to use something for a week or in a video or something like that. But these are the products that I use and love on a daily basis, which is just great. And thanks to Sleep and Glow because they have enabled me to make this video for you. They are sponsoring this video and this is one of my greatest beauty secrets and that is the Sleep and Glow Pillow. Basically, this is a pillow designed for you to get fewer wrinkles and less puffiness every time when you wake up in the morning and I have certainly noticed the difference in my face. And I will tell you, for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that about three months ago, I moved into the basement of a new house that is a complete redo and the workers are upstairs, the construction people are upstairs fixing the house in all variety of ways. Pretty much every surface is getting fixed and Alan and I have been sleeping in the basement and I have been so stressed out and for the longest time I did not sleep on my pillow because quite honestly I just wasn't organized, I wasn't in my beauty routine. And then one morning, maybe about six weeks ago, I looked in the mirror and said, oh my God, Beth, you look about 10 years older, you look puffy, you look old, you look haggard. And I thought, what is the difference? And I realized I was not using my Sleep and Glow pillow. And what this pillow allows you to do is that it allows you to comfortably, very comfortably sleep on your back. Because let me show you the little diagram of the pillow. Basically, it has a little divot in the middle of it where you put your head. And I usually start out as a back sleeper at the beginning of the night, but in the middle of the night, I wake up and I kind of want to turn on my side. And you can do this with the Omnia pillow. This is what you do. It has two little areas, one on either side, to where even if you have your full weight on the pillow, which I do right now, as you can see, my face is not scrushed. Look how your face can look with a normal pillow, just scrunched into your bed, into your pillow for up to eight, 10 hours a night if you're a lucky sleeper. For me, it's seven or eight hours. But anyway, I absolutely love this pillow. And it is kind of one of those unseen beauty secrets because you don't have to do anything. It's absolutely passive. All you have to do is lie down on this pillow. First, you have to order it, and there is a discount code below the video for you to order it and a link for you to get something off on this pillow. But all you have to do is have a beautiful night's sleep on this pillow. This is a memory foam pillow, and it is super, super comfortable. It has like more than 100 patents on it, I think, or maybe 30, I'm not sure. A lot of patents because it was developed by plastic surgeons to deal with one of the most common problems we have, which is that during sleep, most of us scrunch our face into that pillow for hours at a time. With a Sleep and Glow pillow, you won't do that. And believe me, it takes a few nights to get used to this. And I would suggest if you're not used to sleeping on your back, put a pillow underneath your knees that will help you get used to it. But always remember that when you want to sleep on your side with this pillow, you can, which is just wonderful. Okay, let's get into my empties. And I will start by saying that I whacked my hair the other day. I realized that it was getting very, very thin on the bottom. And if you followed my channel, you know that I recently had a pretty in-depth hair care video. I actually have a part two coming on that because I decided to cut my hair off and basically start it again. And I would like to get my hair just a couple of inches longer, but I want really healthy hair this time. So click subscribe if you'd like to follow along with me on that journey, the journey to healthier hair. Okay, let's get into this. And I'm going to start with my little cosmetic empties. And the first one, this is almost empty and I'm so sad and I'm going to be reordering this. This is the Bare Minerals Highlighting Blush and I have it on right now. I pretty much wear it every day. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a gorgeous little peachy pink color, my favorite color and it has a little bit of a glimmer to it, a little bit of a glow to give you that younger look on your cheeks. Absolutely love this, and I will definitely be repurchasing this. Now, in terms of putting on my eyeshadow every morning, 
I used to use the primer potion, I guess it was Urban Decay, and it was like $25 for a little tiny vial of it, a little tiny tube. But for about the last three go-rounds, I've been using this wonderful lid primer, which I did a wear test between the two, and I found that this lid primer worked even better than the Urban Decay, and it's like $5, something like that. This is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup, and it just comes out just a little bit. There's a little bit left there. It's just a little kind of a tan colored cream that you put on your eyelids and it really helps your eyeshadow last all day, which I really appreciate. Now, a lot of you in the comment section ask me, how do you get your lashes so long? And I don't know if they are or they aren't right now, but generally I have very long lashes and that is since I've been using the Revital Lash Advanced Eyelash Conditioner. This is a little bit pricey, but I've tried other brands and nothing gets your lashes longer more consistently than the Revital Lash Advanced Lash Lengthener. Love that. Now, this is something I have used and used and used. This is probably the fifth one I've purchased. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Powder Pencil in the color brown, and I'll link it below and it is just a little bit of a stub. I really like this because as we get older, we still need eyeliner because we want to define our eyes and make them pop, but I particularly like this one because this is not a liquid liner. This is actually powder, and you can't tell that there. It goes on very soft, and it gives you a beautiful look that is not as harsh as traditional eyeliner. Absolutely love this if you're over 40 or 50 for sure. Now, this is an empty that is mascara, and I keep trying to find another favorite, but I really can't. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Absolutely a gorgeous mascara. If you want a really long look, if you want glam looking lashes, which I do, I, I really do. I have the CoverGirl Last Blast Volume for when I want a little Saturday morning out to the grocery store sort of look. But most of the time, I really like the dark look that this gives my eyelashes. It makes them curl, it keeps them dark, it doesn't flake, and it really gives you maximum volume, which I really appreciate. Okay, the most important thing you can do every day to protect your skin is to wear sunblock, and I have been using this and using this for probably about the past three years. This is the Dermatology Physical Tinted Moisturizer SPF 4 in Universal Tint, and I really like this because it plays well with the fact that I use tretinoin on my skin. It does not pill up my skin after application. It isn't greasy and it is a wonderful kind of base to your makeup, really nice. Now, I also have a little skincare cleanser here. I really, really like this and I think it has really been producing more of a glow in my skin than traditional cleansers do. This is the Even Naturals Anti-Aging Glycolic Acid Facial Cleanser, and it has rosehip oil, willow bark, and tea tree oil, and kojic acid. And kojic acid is actually a brightener, and it helps kind of get rid of your brown spots and that kind of thing. At least it kind of nulls them out some. But I really think if you want a cleanser that adds to the glow of your skin that removes those dead skin cells every morning and evening and just reveals younger, glowier, fresher skin. I can't recommend the Eva Naturals highly enough. It's absolutely wonderful. Oops, one more makeup empty. This is my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. It's a drugstore foundation in the color 30 Buff. I also use 40 Nude, but absolutely love this. I have it on right now. It just looks very natural, but as you can tell, it gives you a really, really flawless finish, and I really do appreciate that. It's a slight bit matte, but it's not overly matte. It doesn't make you look old and grizzly. It just makes your skin look beautiful, actually like healthy skin. Okay, here is a GI empty, and this is Culturel Probiotics. And for those of you who follow my channel, you know that I have dealt with diarrhea issues for a long time, but recently I've done some other things GI wise, which let me know in the comment section if you'd like to hear more about that. But one of the things I've been doing is that every single night I take this Culturel Probiotic and you just take one a night before you go to bed. I think it's AM or PM, it doesn't really matter but I take it at night and I have a good friend who totally recommended this to me very highly. And she said, Beth, don't just use it for three or four days to make your decision on if it works, 
go ahead and use it for a full 30 days. She swears by it and it is really helping me as well. My diarrhea seems to be kind of a thing of the past, which is just wonderful. Okay, my next skincare item is this Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner with Niacinamide. And this is probably my number one beauty secret for having young, fresh, dewy, kind of even toned skin because niacinamide is a huge brightener and I have used this now for probably three years. You've seen it on my channel. I have gone through bottle after bottle after bottle, but look at my skin. It looks actually very poreless and in real life, it wasn't when I started this three years ago. And it's important to give this some time, but they used to say that toners weren't important, but I really feel that my skin just gets kind of drab looking. It gets kind of gray looking. It looks like my skin is just clogged with old skin cells. And once I started using the Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner, it just stripped all that off and gave me a wonderful poreless looking youthful glow. Okay, here is another skincare empty. And I use this on my neck every single night. This is the Differin Gel Adapalene 0.1%. And it says acne treatment, but they have since found, although this started out as an acne treatment, they've done studies and found that it has similar effects to tretinoin in your skin. It reduces wrinkles, it reduces brown spots, and I think it's really helping slowly but surely to make my neck look a little better. And I've tried to use tretinoin on my neck, but my neck has sensitive skin, our necks do. And so tretinoin really causes redness, irritation. I just can't use it on my neck. And so I'm happy to be able to use this Adapalene gel on my neck. And if you have problems using tretinoin or Retin-A, you might try this all over your face because it does not cause irritation, which is just great. Now, one of my most important skincare items is actually this collagen, the Sports Research Collagen Peptides. This is fantastic. I put one scoop in my coffee every single morning. You can't taste it at all. And collagen has been scientifically proven to give you firmer skin, to reduce wrinkles, to even reduce sun damage. It's also been shown to grow your nails, to make your hair grow a little bit. It's kind of amazing the science behind collagen peptides. And if you'd like to see a video about this, I will link a video with Dr. Brad Stanfield, who is an expert in actually looking at the research behind supplements and he totally swears by collagen peptides to help one's skin, and he really swears by collagen peptides to help your skin. Okay, this is something I use every single morning in my eyes. I wouldn't go a day without it. This is my Lumify, and look at the whites of my eyes. As you can tell, they are very white, and I have not used this since this morning, and it's about 1.30 now. But basically what I do is that in the morning, before I brush my teeth, before I put my contacts in, I put one drop of Lumify in each eye, and then I go ahead and brush my teeth, and then I put my contacts in, and then I have very white eye whites for the rest of the day. And if you'll notice, young women, they always have beautiful sparkling eyes, and that certainly wasn't the case with me before Lumify. In fact, I always said I had red snake eyes because I always look like I had bloodshot eyes, but I don't have that anymore. And Lumify does not cause rebound redness the way a product like Visine does. It is a totally different thing and it works beautifully. Okay, my last two empties have to do with hair care. The first is this Purology 21 Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. And what this is, is it is a spray-in leave-in conditioner. And I never realized how important this was until I started watching the channel. What's his name? Blow Dry Professor, Blowout Professor, that's it. He's a hairstylist in Miami. He really does lots of research into these products. And he says that using a leave-in conditioner is super important, especially for those of us who have color-treated hair or who use hot tools on our hair quite a lot. And so basically after I shampoo and towel dry my hair, I just spray this in and then I go about with my other styling products. But I've really noticed that since I've used this and I did get through one bottle already, my hair just looks a bit shinier and I really think it, it's getting in better condition. Okay, the last product is something that I learned a lesson on. And this is the Kenra Platinum Finishing Spray 26 Maximum Hold Hairspray. And this one is not actually empty. However, I am throwing it out as if it were an empty because I use this for the longest time and I used to rave about it on my channel, 
But unfortunately, this is such maximum hold that eventually I was going into my stylist and almost every time she would say, Beth, what is in your hair? I think it's hairspray and I can't seem to get it out. And she'd tell me to go home and wash my hair with baking soda. And I did that some, I used clarifying shampoos, but I could hardly get this stuff out. And one thing the blow dry professor shared is that if you have damaged hair, especially dry hair, you really shouldn't use much if any hairspray because you spray the hairspray in and it coats your hair. And then when you run a brush through your hair, your hair can break off. So I've decided just to go ahead and throw this away. Even when I do use hairspray, which is kind of rare, I use the Kenra 13, which is a medium volume hairspray, and that does not build up. Well, at this time of the video, I usually leave you with a little thought for the day, but instead I have a request. I am interested in trying some of your absolute favorite products, makeup, skincare, hair care. I would be glad to go out and buy them and give them a try. If you have products you absolutely love, I hope you'll mention them in the comment section and I promise you I will read every comment, write things down, and you may see your product in a future video, which I would really appreciate. And that's one of the best things about a channel like this is that if we go to the comment section, we can see what's working for other women and in that way we can help each other, which is always great. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.